hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is going to be how you can ventilate your lace so if you don't want to waste so much money getting a frontal or a closure then this is the perfect video for you so everything i just showed you guys right now is what you would need for this video so first of what you want to do is to place your wig cap on the mannequin head and then you turn the wig cap to the back as you guys can see it is to the back and then you want to place this net lace on the mannequin head and then you want to sew but what you have to try to avoid is that try not to make the lace so big like don't make it um too much so you don't end up you know having a lot of hair to ventilate so you want to sew it round twice and then you want to bring it out and then cut the wig cap just leaving the lace <laughs> So here you want to secure the net to the wig cap so you don't have a situation where but when you're done with the wig it's actually pulling so you're going to do this round so you take this amount of braiding hair not too big not too small just something you know something like what you guys can see here and then you want to pass the ventilating pin through the wig cap into the net then you put the braiding hair in the ventilating hook you pull it through then you tie it once just to secure it so let's do this again you want to pass the ventilating pin through the cap into the net and then you put the braiding hair in the hook and you pull it we do it again you pass the braiding hair through the hook of the ventilating pin and you pull it once so this is what you're going to basically be doing Right. so with ventilating of the lace is something you should just take your time and you can just do it at home yourself and i'll be linking everything here down my description box so you can get them and then do it yourself so this is what it should be looking like when you're done so now to ventilate the hair the same thing we are going to be doing but this time around you're going to be taking either one or two strands of braiding hair so we're going to pass the ventilating hook through one hole of the net and then you pass the braiding hair through the hook and then you pull once. So we go again, you pass the ventilating pin through one hole of the lace and then you pull the braiding hair so this is what you're going to be doing but when you're doing the back when you're ventilating the back of the lace you could actually take maybe three strands or four strands but try not to skip so many holes so that it doesn't look really really scanty so you want to keep ventilating but when you get to the front so that it could look realistic i would advise that you actually go with either one strand of braiding hair or two strands of braiding hair oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. i can't live without you so guys getting to the front of the hair like i said we're going to be passing the ventilating pin through one hole of the lace that's the lace net and then you pass one strand or two of the braiding hair through the hook and then you pull that through so guys when you're doing this take your time this is just a diy you can do at home you don't have to waste so much money on frontal or closure and trust me if you take your time to do this you will love the process so guys i did not speed this part so that you can actually have a closer look and see what i am doing <music> i 
I hope this tutorial was really really helpful because I just had to do this for people who do, who wouldn't want to watch like the whole video on how I make a wig ventilating a lace so I just wanted to show you guys how you can ventilate your lace and thank you all so much for watching do not please forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in my next one bye